All right, y'all, we are going to talk about this Marks 2750C3. This is a profile cylinder style lock with a very narrow back set. I believe this back set is inch or inch and a half. Never really paid attention to that. It's one inch because they're all the same. And very frequently you will see this type of lock on steel security doors or fences, which is the case of what we have today. This is the trim. And we're replacing two on fences that somebody ripped off the fence. Uh, for probably because it was just rusted up. Now that is metal. Let's look at, take a look at this. It's black coated metal. They don't really recommend you take these things apart if something goes wrong with them. It's pretty much foobar, but you do see screws on it, so could take it apart and mess around with it. Um, except when somebody rips it all off of a gate and this is twisted into pieces, obviously at that point you would need to totally replace. Um, and depending on where you order these from, you need to be very cautious because let's just say some distributors are not like others and some distributors charge way too much for these compared to other ones like over double the cost which definitely can affect you if you had given the customer the price based on one distributor and then try to order it from another distributor and uh, it comes in without you finding out how much they charge and it is painful so uh, this one is handleable. You can switch the hand. I don't know on the gate whether they're upside down. A lot of times you'll see them upside down or right side up, either which way. It just depends on how they built the gate or the door. Um, so you loosen the screw of the spring latch. That's that screw right there. And about five turns. And that lets this just basically come forward and then you turn it around and snap it back in and tighten the screw back. And that's all there is to that. Now these use a profile cylinder with your cap screws so that you can re-key it. And in this case, this one is a different key, I think. And the other one, I've already, uh, I'm gonna have to re-key this lock that other key so that the keys match because this is not the key that we're using this is just what comes with it it's a AR1 marks key however very often you will also be able to use quick set keys in these to both rekey and copy the keys on. However, there is a little bit of a variance in the spacing of the key. So this one is usually follows the mark, if I remember correctly, usually follows the marks bidding or the depths on the key. And when you key up a quick set key to the lock, it will not use like standard quick set depth, so you would not be able to use, say, a quick set pinning kit. You'd have to use an 003 kit or 005, which I'm not fond of 005, but you'd have to use an 003 kit. And um, because of the spacing, it, the pins are not going to ride just perfectly right. So it can be an issue if, if it's not keyed up well. So what I do on that is I'll dump all the pins out and pin up one chamber at a time, drop a pin in, try to turn it, push it down, and then once it clears, then I'll go ahead and cap it, check it again, 
It's tedious, but once you do one side, you should be able to mimic it on the other side without having to do the one at a time thing. Or if you have a bunch more of these cylinders. So anyway, it is possible to do it to a quick set key. But otherwise, if you are just copying keys, always use your AR1 arrow key to make the copies on because it is indeed an AR1, just slightly different than a quick set key. All right, so let's go put this on the gate. Target gate. Just the latch coming out if you back that screw out you can either reverse it or you can back it out to make the latch stick out a little further if there's a bigger gap so backing the screw out a little bit causes it to come out screwing it in causes it to go in this gate has a very small gap so it can be tightened down as much as possible. Alright, also I'm going to lubricate here and here. off and with as with most mortise or profile cylinders I want to spray those caps so they don't rust but you have to turn the key because the cylinder won't go in otherwise so Turn the key. You can insert it if this is not too tight.
connecting right there. So we're going to have to get a file. And that's because the gate's probably lowered. But we're going to have to get a file and knock that off. <sighs> to right about there. Biggest one I've got. Seven years later. had been rehung it was too close to the frame so I had to cut the edge of the bolt off to make it lock fully <laughs> 